like to introduce Lennis Cowell, distinguished member of the California Wrestling Hall of Fame, class of 2006. Congratulations, Lennis. Thanks, Jeff. Well deserved. Uh, obviously, you've been involved in the sport of wrestling for a long time, and what individual or individuals had the greatest influence on you in the sport? Well, that's a very difficult question, but uh, I think I had a lot of heroes and people that I looked up to, but probably the key guy in my life would be my father. Mm -hmm. You know, just the kind of man he was and everything. He, he's kind of always been my own individual idol. I'm an only child, mm -hmm. so uh, my father's from the Depression era, and you know, he used to pick, used to pick cotton all day for a dollar an hour and that type stuff. I mean, a dollar a day. And so uh, I think that's where I got, got my will and desire from that man. Did you have any idols in the sport of wrestling when he got started? Uh, well, back in my times, there wasn't, you know, the Dan Gables and, and that, those type people. And uh, I just think it was just our own peer groups and people like that and our own self-motivation at that time. Mm -hmm. What got you started in wrestling? Uh, I think, for one thing, being a little guy, and uh, I had a good friend at that time when I went into high school that was a year ahead of me, was a, a wrestler, also a little guy, and he said, hey, you know, you only weigh 84 pounds, you know, why don't you come out and try, try it? He says, you, you think you're a pretty tough street kid, so let's do it. And I went out and I loved it right away. I spent your whole life doing right. it. Right. <laughs> uh, what aspect of your character uh, enabled you to be so successful? both as a competitor and as a coach, Linus? Well, I, I think, and I hate to use this thing, but I think that little, little man complex of wanting to achieve and uh, wanting to be an overachiever, you know, and I've been that way all my life in everything I do. You know, I'm a heck of a competitor. You know, I love to compete in everything. Yeah, that's been apparent to everyone. <laughs> right. It's a good thing. Uh, is there one outstanding memory that you have in the sport? Uh, there's a few, if I could elaborate just a little bit. I think the first time I, uh, we won a CIF Northern California champion as an athlete in high school. Then when we, I was on a team that won the first college division national championship at Cal Poly as an athlete. And then as a coach, I think it was uh, my first Valley Championship mm -hmm. at Clovis West, then my first state championship, and then my second state championship. Yeah. And then probably the highlight of my career is getting the head job at Cal Poly. Mm -hmm. That's probably one of the things that I dreamed about and it came true. It's a dream come true yeah. for sure. Uh, is there one match that comes to your mind, sticks in your mind through your whole career <laughs> that uh, really stands out? Uh, I was wrestling a young man named Kurt Scott from University of Oregon that uh, ended up that year placing, I think, fifth in the NC2As. And he was ahead of me by two points. Uh, it was a crucial dual meet for us. I, all my teammates were yelling, and actually one of them was crying at the time that I can remember. We were that tight of, of unit. and. Uh, it was down the last few seconds, and it's one of those hero things, like a guy hitting a home run with the bases loaded, that type thing. The guy was pushing on me. I hit a nice headlock and caught him for five points to end up winning the match, which, which helped us win the dual meet. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's always been a real key, just because of the, the teammates. Yeah, that's always been yeah. a great thing. What made you decide to go into coaching? Uh, I think the influence of, you know, my mentors that I had myself. You know, I had a great what I call high school coach, great junior college coach, and of course Vaughn Hitchcock as a college coach. And uh, I know it turned my life, you know, I was a street kid, and I had somebody that turned my, me around, and, and I always wanted to be able to do that to other kids. So that was always been my goal. You know, sure to win championships, but the thing is to make them better individuals. Yeah, you've been, I'm sure you've been successful in doing that through the years. If you could start it all over again, would you do anything differently? I do it all the same because mm -hmm. I thought I made great decisions then and I couldn't change a thing. Yeah, it's nice when you're satisfied right. with how things went for right. you. What would you like people to remember about Lennis Cowell? Well, you know, I've got a different philosophy than most people on that. My philosophy is I don't want people to forget me. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want them to remember. I don't want them to forget. Mm -hmm. So that's my philosophy. Okay, well, thanks. Well, we sure appreciate you coming in here, and we're uh, grateful to have a chance to chat with you. And congratulations once again on becoming a member of the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thanks, thanks Jim.